Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back for another video. Um, today I'm gonna tell you about how to be successful. I have been so busy, so tired, and I'm so excited for the weekend, but I still have time to film a YouTube video because it is almost the end of June, and that means we are halfway through 2018. So I am doing a reevaluation of the goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year, and that made me think this is like the perfect opportunity to talk to YouTube about how to be successful, how to set goals, and um, how to accomplish things that you've never accomplished before. I just have my list of goals on a notes screen on my phone. And I look at it actually pretty frequently, probably I would say once every like two to three weeks. Um, I have seven goals written down and they're just things that I wanted to accomplish by the end of 2018 and I've actually accomplished some of them already and I've put like little check marks next to the goals that I've already accomplished. Like for example, um, one of my goals was, I wrote these in January obviously, um, commit to a cut from now until April, which I did, I lost 15 pounds. Um, stop spending money on things I don't really need until July. I checked that one off. I think I did pretty well. I have a couple other goals that I have yet to accomplish or are still kind of like a work in progress. I plan to accomplish every single one of them by the end of the calendar year. I remember probably about like a year to a year and a half ago, my dad sent me this email that was talking about setting goals and the success rate for people who write down their goals is like infinitely higher than people who don't write down their goals. Because if you if you write down your goals, like you can look at it and check in on it and you're it almost just makes it more like you're more committed once you write down what you're gonna do. Now I'm not just talking about fitness goals. Like there's so much more to work toward than just fitness. Of course, obviously this is a mostly fitness channel. Um, so that's very important to me, but I have two goals for work on here. I have a nutrition goal. I have a financial goal. So just things like that. The sun just went in, so it just made the lighting so weird. I was also sure to I don't know, I'm gonna sound like a nerd right now. Smart goals. With smart goals, they have to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-based. So I tried to write every single one of my goals in that format, and that way it's easier to hold myself accountable because it's actually something I can like measure. In addition to setting goals, it's also important to kind of like follow up on them and like I said, I look at this like every two to three weeks and I think it's good to hold yourself accountable, but also keeping it in the back of your mind that like you have these goals here and you have until the end of the year, you have 365 days to accomplish these goals. What are you doing every single day that gets you one step closer? Another huge, huge thing that I attribute to reaching goals is being the hardest working person in the room always. And from a young age, my dad has always told me this, but I truly, truly believe that you can be the hardest working person in the room no matter where you are or what you're doing. If you're in the gym and you're just kind of moving through the motions, you're sitting on your phone while you're doing leg extensions, like you're not working hard enough. Someone in that gym is outworking you and you're wasting your time. Someone else is working harder than you, someone else is going to be better than you. So always be the hardest working person in the room. So I set my goals at the beginning of the year, but right now it's like the perfect opportunity for you to write down your goals that you have for the rest of the year. It can be anything. Make three to four goals, write them down, and work toward them every single day for the rest of the year. If there's an area where you wanna get better, you wanna get better at your job, or you wanna have a goal to be good at squats, or you wanna get your mile time down, just like anything, anything at all. If you wanna make a goal to save a hundred dollars a month like write it down I'm telling you it works you're accountable and you will be ten times more successful than you would be if you just said oh yeah I'm I'm gonna take my squat from 135 to 155 write it down I've been setting goals for like literally as long as I can remember um, I, I remember the first like big goal that I've ever set which I know 
in this video i've kind of just talked about like my year goals like what i want to accomplish in 2018 but something i uh set for myself i remember i was in fifth grade my second season playing basketball and my dad took me to a girls varsity game i remember being in the gym being at the game i was so like excited to be there i thought these girls were so old and so cool and i wanted to be just like them and then i saw the 1000 point banner in the corner of the gym and i was like you know what i want my name on that and from that day forward i will never forget i i worked for that every single day for what seven years and that's like a really long-term goal but i knew i wanted it and i did everything that i could to get there i finally did it january 29th 2011 <laughs> I'll never forget it was like the best day of my life i wish i could relive it i scored my thousandth point and it was like it was just the coolest feeling and i was so overwhelmed and i knew like every ounce of work that i put in had paid off because it was something i worked for for so long so many years so many travel games and camps and clinics and shooting classes and days in the driveway where i shot foul shots and i wouldn't leave until i made 10 shots in a row like it was just an extreme amount of dedication but a goal that I set for myself and I wasn't going to stop until I got there and I think I'm naturally blessed because I have a little bit of that personality in me that I won't quit but at the same time I worked my ass off for that so set your goals and chase after them like write them down don't be afraid to work toward them work hard toward them every single day don't stop working i knew this was going to be a short video but i think i got my point across write down your goals set goals write them down and watch yourself become successful as you work toward them every single day because you're going to be the hardest working person in the room and i know it sounds so cheesy like uh set goals and eh, be the hardest working person do it do it <laughs> i know this is kind of a short video i have a new series that i'm going to be starting next week i'm going to vegas over labor day weekend so i need to cut down a little bit so i'm going to take you guys with me through a i believe it's like 10 week maybe eight week cut um so i will uh, probably be posting two videos a week with that and i'm actually pretty excited because i think it's going to keep me super accountable um but anyway thank you guys for watching um if you haven't watched my 10,000 calorie challenge video yet i'm gonna link it at the end of this video it's been getting a, like a lot of views on youtube for me like i that's my highest viewed video and uh it was really hard but um again thank you guys so much for watching and if you like the video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video